So I'm from a place called Mitsimitsi, which is a tiny little town up in the Hokianga on the west coast, far north. And I'm connected there through my mum um, and uh, my great 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 grandfather, Atama Paparangi, was a Paramount chief. Um, and so having been brought up and mum telling me these old stories from, from Mitsimitsi and telling us about our cultural, cultural heritage, my sister and I, um, I became increasingly more interested in it and um, throughout my teenage years even more so and I started showing through my art practice. I was, I was painting with these, these motifs and um, taking these old stories that my mum had told us when we were kids and incorporating them into my art. So I got into carving um, at the end of high school when my music teacher introduced me to traditional Māori music and I started making and playing taonga pūoro, making them and putting a bit of carved embellishments on them and um, that kind of sparked an interest for me which made me want to look for a carving course and so I found the one at, at NZ Mackey. My career so far has been working on the Matsutsuni project where we carved the maho for the stage um, for a national kapaka festival and that was quite an amazing project because there were about 20 of us working on it and over a period of about five months and it was just it was an, it was an amazing learning experience, just a huge, huge amount of work. Currently I'm working on a carving for the Venice Architecture Biennale. So it's a, it's a whatarangi that will be put up um, as part of a New Zealand exhibition. In my art practice, I don't think carving has to be an integral part of it and um, I'm interested in experimenting with a whole lot of different uh, medium and um, work with different subject matter and, and different ideas and carving can be a part of it sometimes, sometimes it won't. I'd love to travel the world a bit and hopefully exhibit and, and make work all over the place. Um, hopefully study overseas as well, maybe do my masters and eventually come back home and um, carve my meeting house up north. <laughs>